Welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today I have a software for you guys and it does your skin editing and also remove really, really difficult blemishes on the skin with just one click guys. You heard me right. One click. Let's go. Alright guys, so here we have our images here and I have about, uh, let me see, one, two, three, about six images here that I want to test. The reason why I have this much is that I want to show you different lighting scenarios but also different skin uh, imperfections. So for example, this young lady right here, she has some skin imperfections here on her forehead or cheek and I did actually have three separate images of her you can see a little bit more details in this one and then you can see a whole lot more in this one and also over here you have this female over here and she has some you know small bumps and stuff i want to see how well it removes the stuff off her shoulders as well and then we'll also have this other lighting scenario this is it's a little bit more of a window light but i want to see how well it does on her skin and finally i want to have this image from an outdoor session that I did. And I wanna see how well it does it for this. She also actually have freckles. So I wanna see how well it deals with the freckles, freckles guys. So here we go. And we're gonna start with number one. So the first thing that we do guys, and this is we're gonna start with this image, but the software that we're referring to today guys is called Reblum guys. You heard it right, Reblum. This software I came across recently and I must say that I am very, very, very much impressed uh, with how it does it and I want to show you guys the steps which are very very simple here we go guys so firstly I'm gonna go to my filter reblum and then reblum retouch and as it loads guys you can see it dramatically reduces the smoothing of the skin and also it does it with the pimples so you can see before after before after and also guys it has two levels you have a natural and a fashion and also you have the intensity but if whatever reason you don't like the result you can also make a report of it and they'll try to move improvements i guess in another update with their software so what we're going to do first is i want to do at least two samples for you guys in this in this particular image i'm going to do one natural and then one in a uh, fashion so what I'll do is I'll say, okay. And also guys, if you can see here with the, the, the intensity, you have general and you have texture. If I take the texture down, it will bring back a lot more of the details of the skin. But if, if I should zoom in some more and bring that texture intensity up, you can still see a significant amount of details in the skin, even though this, this picture was actually shot with my 50 millimeter 1.2. So a lot of the areas is going to be a little bit blurred out, not because of the software, but because of the lens that I use and the aperture that I use with that lens. All right, so let me click on OK. And what I'll do is I'll zoom in. But what, what I need to do much better is let me create a layer. So let me undo that. What has happened, and I'm now create two layers. And then what I'll do is I'll call this one fashion. And then I'll call this one not true so let's do the natural first since we already did it in the software all i need to do is just do it here and it's going to automatically does it for me do the same settings that we had before all right so it did that let me take it off now we're then going to go into the software and then what we'll do is we'll do the fashion so that way we can have a comparison of each okay Okay, so let's look at the natural. So the difference that I've noticed so far is that the intensity of each, whether it's natural or fashion, fashion tends to be a little bit more intense, which I think is okay. Um, but what I'm very impressed about is that this kind of gives you a good starting place in which to start doing your edits. Oftentimes you spend a lot of time removing blemishes, removing fine lines in the forehead or the skin, and this will kind of help you to cut down at that time significantly all right so let's move on to the other image now and let's zoom in so you kind of get to see the blemishes here on the side of our face a little bit better let me create a, a copy of that and let's go to the reblum let's expand the screen and let's zoom in so if i look to the side right here where we had the imperfections guys let's look at the before and after before after before 
after. And you can see also it kind of takes care of that dark circle under the eye as well. And I think that this has done a really good job. And this is just the natural level of the edit. Let's go to fashion. And it's pretty much the same to me, to be honest with you. If I zoom in, you can see that. But it's really good, guys. So let's click on OK and let's move on. So the next image now is a little bit more drastic in terms of where the imperfections are. Let's see how well the software does it. All right, so let's go, let's make sure we do a copy by doing a command J on the keyboard. And let's go to filter, reblum, here we go. And let's zoom in. And guys, what I have to say, this is like magic, <laughs> voodoo magic, if you want to say that. But um, this guys is absolutely amazing. Let's look at the before, after. Come on guys, smash that like button guys. Smash that like button if you're liking this guys, cause come on. Tell me, this is amazing, guys. This is really good. This has taken so much time away from my edits, removing blemishes. Now this software is going to be taking care of it for me nicely. Let's look at the fashion and see what it looks like. And that's even better, guys. So let's look at the texture. What happens when I bring the texture down? So we still have the blemishes removed, but it kind of brings back a little bit of the texture, which I actually, actually do like. But... For me guys, it's really, really good. It's taking care even right behind the hair, follicles right here. It's really good guys. You can see that it removed it slightly on this side, but that's something that we can definitely do for ourselves. Because you know, like any software, it's not gonna be definitely perfect, but it does the job really, really, really good guys. Let's, go, let's look, let's go and take this up 100%. And let's look at the before, after. Like, come on guys, before, after, that is pretty much amazing guys, come on. All right, so let's move on to the other image now. So this lighting scenario is a little bit different. As you can see, I kind of light her with three lights. So on the left side of her, her face here, um, which is her, oh, actually my left side, it's the blue light, and on the right side, I did more for orange. Um, just to kind of, these are kind of complementary colors, right? And then in the, in the, for the main light, I actually did like a big soft box. But as you can see here, guys, you can see the blemishes on her skin, on her forehead right here, right by her nose. And we can also see these little areas on her shoulders. So let's see how well the software does it. Let's make sure, make a copy. Let's go to filter, reblum. expand the screen come on guys look at that let's do before after before after this has done at least 80% of our job already a little bit of dodging and burning move, removing the blemishes let's look at our shoulders guys this is the shoulder after let's look at the before come on guys come on and we're in natural which is the, the least intense let's go to fashion Pretty good, guys. Pretty good. Let's take the intensity down of the texture and see what happens. Not much change. It just kind of brings back more details back into the skin. All right. Let's go to general and see what happens. So pretty much general, what general does is actually the effect of the, 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 the software itself. It kind of brings it down and then you can increase how much you want. But for me, I think 100% is perfect. And you know, it, like I said, it retains the texture in the skin and I think this is just amazing, guys. This is gonna really help me to make my edits a lot faster, especially if I'm doing fashion or if I'm doing some client work in terms of engagement shoot or weddings, guys. This is really, really, really amazing, guys. All right, so let's go and bring the texture back up to 100% and click on OK. <clears throat> and let's look at the before one more time, guys. After, before. After, because all I need to do now is go create a blank layer, get my, uh, let's lose the remove, let's do the healing brush tool. And if I want to really remove this here, all of the dab in the area, and boom, it's gone. Just like that, guys. Like as easy as that. Boom, gone. You know, and if I need to remove these little blemishes over here, boom, gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, guys, it's really, really amazing. So let's look at this other portrait over here. 
So there's a different skin texture, a darker skin. So let's see what it does over here. I know you see this folder right here, guys. What I did was I kind of did a little bit of grading and also I fixed our lips. Let's look at the before. So this was a before and this was the after. I just, I just didn't want to have the image looking, you know, as crazy as it did before. All right. So let's make a copy and we're going to bring that to the top. And what we do now is go to the software, filter, reblum. Let's zoom in and let's look at it before, after, before, after. She didn't really have much blemishes on her skin. Those little holes are really just the pores. The, the, those little bumps on her skin is really just the pores. So this is how she actually is. But it removed a small amount of blemishes. But what it also did was it did a little bit of dodging and burning for me in this, in this image. And I think that's pretty good, guys. Let's look at the fashion and see what fashion does. And it's pretty much the same, but overall, I'm, lo I'm loving how this actually looks just as a starter for me to get to a point where, okay, I can move on from here to start doing more stuff. But the majority of the work for me is kind of done already. Because I mean, if, if it was a client who didn't really want much to her done her pictures, this is good enough for me to send to the client and it's done. All right, so let's click on okay. And I think that's pretty good, guys. And like I said, it retains the details in the skin. It just softens it more a little. But this, guys, is looking really, really good, guys. Look at the details. I think that looks amazing, guys. Really amazing. So let's go to the last image over here. So like I mentioned, she, oops. Like I mentioned, she has, you know, freckles on her face. She has these little blemishes here. So let's see how well it finds it and takes care of it. Let's make a copy. And let's go to filter. And let's see. So enlarge the screen. Zoom in. Wow, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Let's look at it before, after, before, after. A majority of the work for me, guys, has been taken care of. Even this little thing on her eye right here, it kind of softened or reduced. And I think that looks really good, guys. Really, really good so let's look at what fashion gives us fashion gives us a really good quality and i really liking that guys and let's bring that intensity down and see what happens and i think that looks really good even this looks really good guys i can leave this as is let's do a okay and let's look at the before after before after and the thing about this too guys if if you want to get back more of the blemishes all you do is click on the mask down here Make sure you're on the brush, press B on the keyboard, and also make sure you're painted with uh, black, and your opacity and flow is at 100%. And all I'm gonna do is just kind of brush over her face right here, just to kind of bring back those freckles. And guys, I think this looks really, really good, guys. Really, really good, just as a starting place. Starting place guys. I think this looks really good. If we should go back to the website here guys You can actually try this software for free and You can look at the pricing over here. I can see you have the one month year and you also have a lifetime So the fact of the matter is you can actually have this life this software for every you don't have to do a subscription a month thing is pretty good and the price is not too bad guys and if we go back to features and we'll come down here you can see also you can use this software offline in other words you can have it as a standalone guys i think that's a really 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 good feature to have so you can have the software in your laptop you don't have to worry if you travel you have no service you can definitely still use the software and guys we're going to wrap it up right there if you guys like this video guys smash that like button if you're new to the channel guys subscribe for more and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace